Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have some items that I got from a few thrift stores, a consignment store, and some clearance items from Home Goods and Tuesday Morning. Let's go ahead and get started with the thrift store items. So let's see, what do we want to start with here? How about we do this big piece here? Oh, here we go. <laughs> so I got this a couple weeks ago at the ARC thrift store. And this thing is huge and heavy. I love the amber vase here. This uh, was originally a home good item, but I can't read them where it's all faded. But normally they would have these between $20 to $25. So this was actually $14.99 and I got it half off. So I couldn't pass it up. It's perfect size for my fireplace mantle niche there in the family room. And also, I'm going to have to show you a few different things here, not just all thrift store at this time, because I also got this from the thrift store. Um, this is the ARC. It was $3.99 here. Okay. Got it half off, so kind of pass up $2. I like how it already has the rope on here, because my plan is uh, what I showed before with those cutting boards. Let's look at that picture one more time really quick. So as you can see, you've got all the different sizes of the cutting boards and I'm gonna be like this one here. I'm gonna be painting this. This is actually chalkboard, but it kind of looks like a cutting board. And let me show you a couple of clearance items too that go with a cutting board. This is from Tuesday morning. This is a mahogany cutting board. It was a regular $20. I got it on clearance for 15. I actually got this about a month ago before I decided to do the little display with the cutting boards and uh, I was gonna put some feet on it and then just put it on my island to decorate on. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and use it for my cutting board display. Another cutting board is from uh, Home Goods when I went there a few weeks ago. And I got this cutting board that was originally $19.99. See it went again on sale for 15 and then $9. I like the look of this. So, I think all these will look kind of interesting together. Again, I'm going to be painting this. I don't know. I might be putting some of those stripes or something on here. I don't know for sure. I also thought, well, since this is a chalkboard, and I could also paint over this, try to make this look like marble. I don't know. I've never done that before, but who knows? It might work. <laughs> you know, let's go ahead and finish off the home goods because the day that I got the cutting board here, I also found this item. Check this out. This is another one that went on clearance many times, kind of surprisingly. Can't tell all the prices, but I can tell there's three red tags on here. Uh, regular $16.99, and it went on for $3.50. So yeah, can't pass up $3.50. There's nothing wrong with it. It is not dented, it's metal. The glass is not cracked or chipped, and I put batteries in it. You know, and it works and it does have a timer, have an on off or a timer. This could be perfect in my kitchen on my island. I'm gonna use it for spring here first. You could put just some greenery in here, some spring flowers, Easter eggs, regular like little spotted eggs. Have some uh, Spanish moss in here, some eggs, little birds or something. Great for all the holidays, definitely. And I might wanna do some distressing on it, but not the way I do with the sandpaper. It's another technique that you can do to make it look a little chippy, is where you just take your black craft paint with a really thin brush and just kind of put a few lines here and there and little splotches. So I might do that, because if I don't like it, I can just paint it again, definitely. All right, so that, that was it for home goods. And that was the only thing I got it Tuesday morning was that cutting board, but always go check out the clearance because you never know what you're gonna find. Let's continue on with the thrift store. I did go out Tuesday. This Tuesday it was bitter, bitter cold. I mean, we're talking one degrees when I went out. It was one degree. It was five degrees by the time I came home. And I hit a couple of Goodwills because I didn't want to drive to that art thrift store. It's a little bit further away and it was so cold. I didn't want to get it in and out too much. So I just, uh, I had to go to the post office. So I thought I'd run into the Goodwill that was nearby. And I found, these little uh, bread and butter plates. Gotta check these out. Now, purple was half off. These are purple. I got six of them. I'll bring them in here and I'll read it to you as I show you. 
It's a fine china made exclusively for International Silver Company. It has the number 326 Springtime. They were $1.29 and they were half off. So what I'm getting is for 65 cents a piece and I have six of them. And uh, I checked, I looked it up just to see, because these are really pretty. I love them, they'll go great with uh, my uh, white uh, dishes, I think, perfectly. I looked it up and these are actually from 1960s. They sell on Etsy or even eBay, I've seen between $5.99 to $6.99 a plate. Even I think replacements has them for $7 a plate. So I think I got a good deal on these. So, And they do say that this has got a platinum uh, rim, rims on it. So the silver color is actually platinum. So that's kind of cool. These will be great in my dining room. And another thing I got. Let me show you quick. I, kind of, I took it apart, actually, because I wanted it for the frame. So it was a $2.99, not on sale, of course, but I couldn't pass it up because I think this is going to look great with my other one that I have in my entryway back there. Kind of put one inside the other, possibly. I don't know. I want to show you really quick because this is really interesting. It has glass in it, so I took everything out. This is what was in there first, okay? So then as I open it up, there is another one, and there's this, this one is inside there too. So somebody's used this a few times. There's also a mat in there. That's kind of cool, because you can use this for something else. And the most interesting thing that I found was this old picture. I was uh, shocked. It was the first thing when I took off the backing. Let me see, where's the backing mat? So this is the backing. And when I took this off, this picture was in here, but it was like this with the writing on it. Cause I go, what is this? It says, I'm gonna bring it up here. It says, our family picture, Easter of 1952 or 1951. It says Martha five, Betty 17, Jimmy 19, dad 47 and mom 43. So that's kind of cool. I don't know who this is. I don't know if they live here in Colorado. I have no idea. Kind of interesting. I was kind of wondering if they had this in here with the mat, because it would it fits perfectly in this mat. So, not sure, but you know what? Always open up your old pictures that you get at the thrift stores just to check them out. You never know what you're gonna find. It would have been nice if I could have found some money, because I know people uh, hide money in picture frames sometimes. Uh, the reason I check mine is because I say about 10, 10 years or so ago, I was watching some antique show and somebody went over to London and they went to an antique store and they bought this really ugly oil painting of the Titanic. The painting itself was really ugly, but the frame was gorgeous on it. And that's what they bought it for. So when I got it home, they took it apart because they're going to put a different picture in there. And what did they find inside? They found a lunch menu from the day the Titanic uh, sank. And it was, it was real. I, can't, I don't know how it survived or anything, but it was real. And they got a lot of money out of that when they auctioned it off. I mean, so you always want to double check and see what is behind old frames. I didn't even think this was that old. So you just never know. You never know what you're going to find. I just like this and I wanted it to be open. I didn't want anything in it. So but yeah, I always want to check that out. Okay, also on Tuesday when I was out, when I was heading home, I thought I would hit this little consignment store that's nearby. I've never been in there. I think they always open around noon, so I never have a chance to go in there. So I went in there and they, you know, you get your highs, how you doing, everything, and they said, have you been here before? And I said, no. I said, I haven't lived here very long and I've never been in here, so I thought I'd check it out today. And she goes, well, today we have everything 70% off because they're wanting to get some spring items out. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I look around, I found a couple of things. They had a lot of clothes and a little bit of decor. Cause she also gave me a thing if I wanted to do a consignment. She says, they always need decor because that goes really fast. I found this teapot, check this out. I'm not all that fond of the way the rooster looks, but I do love the rest of the teapot. Cause if I want to decorate with it, I can always have this facing to the front or even put uh, a little bit of greenery just to hide this. It's not that bad. I got it for $3. No, I didn't. No, 70% off of $3. Yeah. And this is a, a Bella Casa by Gans. Show you there. 
So I looked this up and I found on eBay, somebody selling one. I think they had it for $30. It was on sale for a little bit for 27 something. Just about to pay shipping. And then there was another one that had the matching cup with it, the, like a coffee cup. And they wanted $50 for their set, plus like about oh, almost $15 shipping on it. So I think I got a good deal on this. I was shocked. I would have bought it just for $3. <laughs> I didn't even know it was gonna be 70% off, but hey, great deal. The last thing I got, let me grab this down here. I got this beautiful cross. Look at this, isn't this gorgeous? Now this one was a lot more expensive. It was $19.99, but again, I got it for 70% off. So I ended up spending under $8 with tax at the store for those two items, so. And this is kind of heavy too. Now my idea, as I drop my piece of paper here, is what I want to do is I want to make this look more French country, maybe a little shabby chic, where I do it with the off-white, some distressing. Also, uh, I, it does need to be painted. It has some a lot of nicks and chips on it, so it needs a little bit, a little bit of work. And uh, I thought about if I could pop off this cross, but I don't want to break the cross. I don't want to break it. It is not attached to the back. Not not that lucky. No. It's glued on, so I don't want to break the cross. But my idea was in the beginning, was I printed off this sheet music here of the old rugged cross. Sorry for my squeaky flora here. Uh, this was actually my grandmother's favorite hymn, and it is one of mine too. I grew up with this, my mom loved it too. So I grew up with this, listening uh, to this in church and singing it, especially when we went up to Illinois and to the, the First United Methodist Church there. They always sang this at every service. So, love this song. I thought I would, uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to age this a little bit more and tear the edges. And I was trying to figure out how to get the cross off and put it behind and put the cross back on. So, it's probably not gonna work out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna do the same thing, but what I thought I would do is I would tear pieces of this and then just kind of place it around. So I'm thinking like where the old rugged cross is, right here, kind of put it in this section, put a few pieces here and there, you know, how it would go with the sheet music. And I think that will look pretty too. So not, not sure how to do lace yet on here, but for some kind of pretty trim, maybe around the edges here, I don't know. We'll wait and see. But that's my idea to do a DIY on that. So, uh, <laughs> When I get started on that, I will definitely do a video, and I hope it will turn out the way it is pictured in my head. Sometimes they don't turn out the way you, you see it in your head, how you want to do something, and then it doesn't turn out the way. So I'm hoping it will turn out. It's, it's still pretty. I mean, it's like a really pretty for like Tuscan decor, but I, I think I want it light colored. I think it would look really nice, looking a little bit more shabby chic, French country. All right. So that is it. That's all I got. I haven't been able to find a lot of stuff lately. I'm hoping to get out next week because it's supposed to be much nicer, finally, and maybe I can hit the art thrift store again on Tuesday. Maybe I'll have a lot of nice items that I can get that I can show you and get some DIYs done. Speaking of DIYs, I'm still working on my last batch of some thrift store projects. So I got two more pieces to finish up today and hopefully I can have a video up tomorrow on that. If not, maybe on the weekend. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a video up on Monday because Tuesday I am doing a open collaboration. I'm co-hosting with my friend Antoinette from Antoinette Decorating. We're doing that uh, marching into uh, Springs Garden collaboration for all of you to participate with us. We just do a vignette with a garden theme, spring garden theme. And I think both of us are planning to do two different uh, garden themes, vignettes. So I gotta get working on that. <laughs> I haven't even got started on that. I need to work on that this weekend because that's for Tuesday. And like I said, everybody is uh, invited to participate with us. So uh, that is it for the video today. Yeah, that's about it going on here. No, no. Don't really have much more going on. Really don't have been doing a lot of cleaning, organizing, getting things done. And of course, uh, painting projects. I'm going to work on my table. I got my blue paint on Tuesday too, so I'm going to work on painting that green table blue. And that's about it I'll be doing. <laughs> a little bit of decorating. So I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day, and I will see you next time.
Bye for now.